why slowing isn't failing? Um, why am I saying that? Well, um, <laughs> recently, <I've, laughs> as you can see, I've been slowing down in my weekly upload, and not that I want to, but you know, uh, from time to time you have unplanned event, or you are simply not in the mood, or you feel like you're overwhelmed, and you miss a deadline or two, and you feel like you're slowing down, you're not as good as you used to be, you're not as in involved in the thing that you are doing, or that you want to do, uh, for me it's uploading weekly, you you feel like yeah, it's maybe pointless, or it it can't be done in some way, and the moral goes down, the, the idea of making what you want to do seems more and more impossible, or more like a dream than a reality, and yeah, you lose interest into it, and you feel like yeah, maybe it's not for me. Maybe I'm I'm supposed to do something else, or I just can't handle having my school life and internet life, or whatever it is, or I can't. Uh, I'm not able to put two hour or one hour sorry at the gym or things like that. And yeah, you lose interest in what you're doing. That's the the worst thing. But why am I saying that slowing down isn't failing? What you you need to understand about slowing down or what slowing down does to me, at least, but I want to say us, is that when we slow down, we we kind of detach ourselves from our goal or what we want to do, uh, in a sense that it's like the goal is still moving forward and us, we are standing still, and greater the time period is, the more distance there is in between us and our goals, and the more time passes and the less we, we feel like we can take action onto it. For example, uh, as I said, uh, it's been now two weeks, I believe, that I'm not uploading weekly. Uh, there is like uh, 10 days or more in between each upload. And as of today, I'm probably one video late. So I have two videos to make in addition to this one to, uh, how can I say that, get back to where I should be. And this idea of, you know, getting back to where I should be or thinking about, oh, if I... Uh, for example, I wanted to. I started to stream and make videos three years ago, and I wasn't able to do it regularly because of shame, because of um, how can I say that, a doubt, and you know a lot of self-made excuses. If I'm being honest, but I, <laughs> from time to time, I tend to think about maybe I will be living from it right now. Maybe I will be able to make, who knows, maybe just two hundred euros a month from it. But to me, it will mean something. It will be the achievement of something that's what I'm striving for, that's what I'm living for and right now I I barely have anything and I'm not trying to complain it's just to show you what slowing down does, does sorry another example for me it's the 3D art for some reason it's the artistic um, skill that I choose to learn and from the three years that I've been doing it two very serious or more serious I would say I'm really bad at it um, I let myself being slowed down by ideas, a vision of myself and things like that. And I've detached myself from this goal of being a 3D artist. And I cannot, I cannot uh, not, <laughs> sorry for the double negation, but I cannot not see myself thinking regularly on, oh, if only I did this, if only I did that. And that's what slowing down um, can lead us to you know, wondering of what we could be and the more we slow down or the more we allow ourselves to slow down the more we think we have failed or we are failing or we have failed and the more the more and more it seems impossible to catch uh, our um, uh, to catch back the train on which we were and our <laughs> once was once was sorry a dream that become an habit now become <laughs> is back to become a, uh, to being a dream, sorry, and it feels horrible. I've lost my train of thought here, but what I wanted to say that that sorry, we got to understand that slowing down isn't failing, but it can be. What I mean by that is that an unconscious sorry process in which oh I haven't we say sorry to ourselves oh I haven't uploaded the upload this week okay that's all right I will upload oh I'm three days late now. Is it really worth it? Oh, now uh, it's two weeks in a row that I'm uh, uploading lately. Hmm, maybe it's not for me. Maybe I should do something else. 
And you know that's sorry, day by day we are building, you know, this sort of wall, brick wall. You know, every day we put a one brick is one excuses or <laughs> one slower pace uh, than the day before and we we start to distance ourselves from our goals. But <laughs> said like that it can be really really depressing but when we think about it it's something that we are doing unconsciously as i said but when we start to being conscious to be conscious sorry about it now we can have um a mean to counter it or at least we can do it but with conscious and that's what really really matters for example uh, with my uh, weekly uh, schedule upload issues i realized <laughs> not earlier than 30 minutes when I was in the shower that I was giving up, that I was slowing down and that slowing down made me give up I know it's it's really something that is intertwined and it's really um, messy to explain and I hope you can understand the idea that okay, we, we can and we have, I believe, to slow down but we, we have to do it in a conscious manner and what I mean by that is that slowing down is part of the process and that's what we get to understand it's not the easiest but once you got it in your head that, okay, now that I'm slowing down, it's not that I'm losing interest into the thing that uh, was once interesting me, or it's not that um, I'm not made for it, or whatever reason you can find. It's simply that it's part of the process. Of course, the first month is going to be beautiful. You got to be to show up, sorry, every day at the gym, and it will be funny. Every um, a gym, uh, every training, sorry, will be interesting and fun, and you will discover new things. Do you really believe that 10 months in, you will still have fun in in the trainings, at least all trainings? Do you still think that you will discover uh, new things or that your muscle will grow fast every every training? No, it won't. And that's that goes for everything. I do the I take the gym example because for me it's the most more uh, easy to represent. But for example, uh, at the where I might with the weekly upload. Of course, the first two uploads were wonderful, you know, I was back in it, I was like, yeah, it's really exciting and all. But now I'm back into the, I got to upload, I got to edit, I got to reshoot a video, and I'm not making anything complex yet. And still, <laughs> I'm able to make my, to create for myself excuses. But now that I've realized that, you know, it's okay that it's slow down, it's okay that I'm not as interested, not that I had to do it, I really enjoy it, but I don't have this, um initial explosion of happiness, curiousness and stuff like that, you know, that when you discover or rediscover something, you are really amazed by everything. Now it's more of, it's more something slower, something more conscious also, and something more, how can I say that? Uh, I don't find the word when you are well organized and hmm, more disciplined, you know, and that's what it comes down to. At one point, you get to be more disciplined. And it's okay, you know, if you slow down at things and give up. You get to give up on few things. But what I don't want you to do, and it's for <laughs> something that I do a lot, it's never giving up on anything, but it's still having this heavy burden of carrying dead projects, dead ideas, dead dreams on your shoulders, thinking that, okay, uh, maybe one day I will be able to, to able, uh, sorry, be able to revive them, but... That's not that's not how it works. But I'm I'm <laughs> I'm losing my train of thoughts here. What I want to to say is that it's okay to slow down. It's not failing, but you get to do it in a conscious manner. You get to understand that slowing down is part of the process. Whatever you are doing, at one point you will hit plateaus, or at least one plateau, and you will have to work with it, work around it, depending on your on your situation. But it's okay to slow down. Just realize it, be conscious about it, and accept it. Then you will be able to work around it. I hope this helped. <laughs> and uh, I will see you two more times this week. Normally, please, please. <laughs> I really want to, to be back on a more regular basis. But as I said, you know, slowing down is part of the process. Bye.